This one is from uh, Spunding and Wirt, uh, said in a German accent. Uh, can, you, <laughs> can you explain why or how a light beer gets a vinegar-like flavor after a few months in a tank? Like maybe it's done in a bright tank uh, and it starts picking up uh, a vinegar-type flavor, light-style okay. beer. That's an interesting one because if you say vinegar, that kind of um, that kind of alludes to maybe having an Acetobacter uh, mm -hmm. microbial contamination. So Acetobacter is a bacteria that that makes um, acetic acid, which is the, the acid in vinegar. Um, but the thing is, right, is that even though Acetobacter is a spoilage bacteria in beer. The only it, it only works in the presence of oxygen. So my, at my brother's vinegar factory, he's got these reactors, which are these these. It's like you know, imagine like twenty carb stones in the bottom of a tank full of yeah. wine, making lots of you know, lots of lots of bubbles of oxygen. And the acetobacter needs lots of oxygen to work. It's a really fickle bacteria. If it doesn't get the right temperature zone, which is like 31, 32 degrees, and eight parts per million of oxygen, it just mm -hmm. dies. It's really fickle. Mm. Um, it will grow, but very, very slowly. So if you've got that, if you've got a vinegar thing happening in your beer over over, over a long period of conditioning time, as as the um, uh, old mate Spunding und Wirt um, says, <laughs> then I, I would probably say that that you might have a microbial contamination, and and the first step would be to grab a aseptically grab a sample of that beer and have it sent off to a lab for analysis for um you know just the usual makeup of you know wild yeast lactic acid bacteria um do an aerobic bacteria analysis of it so that basically they can plate it up and mm -hmm. put it in a in a in an oxygen free environment and see if if, if something will grow or put it in a, a oxygen positive environment see if other things grow and see what's going on there there's 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 like that's that's as far as i'm prepared to speculate i would be like get get the get a lab get the information it's not expensive to get a micro yeah. test done from a third party lab yeah and i think that's that, I, I think that's great advice all right everybody thank you so much for watching if you feel as if you got any value out of the video please like and subscribe there are also other videos that you can watch they're gonna maybe, maybe be over here or over here appreciate you watching